Now file format, this is something that's really quite exciting on this camera because this is brand new, some of these features that we have. What is really cool is that there are four different what I call wrappers or envelopes for different file sizes. So again, as is the standard with this camera, the highest quality is on top and the lowest quality, most compression, is on the bottom. And what this one has now that's very exciting is XAVCS 4K. This will do internal 4K recording, which is phenomenal. In the old uh, A7S, you had to put a separate HDMI recorder in order to do that. This one will now record 4K direct, and it's got some massively beefy uh, sizes and also recording formats, which we'll talk about quite a bit. But this is truly a professional cinema camera with all of these features. XAVCS HD, that's also a very beefy format, but it's 1080p. It's not, uh, it's 1080 resolution. It's not the 4K, but it has the ability to capture more data, and we'll show you those. AVCHD was previously the standard on these cameras. That is the 1080 resolution. And MP4, what's different about th this camera now is now it'll do 1080 but in the smaller MP4 format. So MP4 would be more for uploading straight to YouTube. Uh, XAVCS 4K would be for when you're doing professional cinematography. You want to have the most data to get the most mid-range detail and the most dynamic range. The dynamic range you can get on this is now phenomenal because it has S-Log, S-Log 3 and the different picture profiles. Now the 4K You'll see down here would be the record settings. So those change for the different wrappers or the different formats. So look at this right here. This is 30 frames per second, 100 megabits per second. Now this is a massive file. It's 4K, and typically if you're uploading to, say, YouTube, you'll do something like 12 megabits per second. And the, and the file size is tremendous on this. But you'll get an incredible amount of dynamic range and mid-range tone when you're shooting at 100, 100 megabits per second. This gives you a lot of flexibility for editing in post-processing, color effects, things like that. 60, of course, is smaller. 24p is your cinema. Uh, film was always 24 frames per second. So it would be less data because it would be less frames per second. But also 100 megabits per second. Very, very beefy file. And then the smallest of all would be the 24p 60 megabits per second. This quality is still phenomenal. Anything that's XAVC has to go onto a faster card. And the files, once you shoot those, uh, the XAVC 4Ks, they are found in the uh, M4 folder. And then once you're inside the M4 folder, go inside the clip folder. And then that's where you'll find the recorded files. Now this one is an upgrade to the A7S, which we've been using for a long time for all of our video stuff. Because this one's main feature now is that it'll record 4K direct, and that's huge. It also has 5-axis image stabilization, which I'll show you how cool that is, for especially for video. And it also has HFR, which gives you up to 4 times slow motion. So we're going to show you how to do all of that stuff. And it has better low-light capabilities.